A recent United Nations report said the end of AIDS is entirely feasible. Is that something that we could see in, in our lifetimes? Susan? I don't think we're going to see it in our lifetime. One of the things that worries me about the discussion about the end of AIDS is not that it's not down the road. I think it is but that it is going to raise unrealistic expectations much too soon. It's interesting to note that uh, these phrases, end of AIDS and AIDS-free generation, uh, did not really come from scientists. They didn't come really from the activists. It came from the politicians. Mm -hmm. They are obtainable goals. We all believe that. But uh, right now, they're, they're, they're political statements that aren't being backed up by the resources that we need to actually make it happen. Bob? Well, you know, I'd like to be the voice of optimism. I, I, I do think that it's feasible. I think that we have, um, we know how to end this epidemic. Uh, I think that uh, getting it done, though, is, is not to be assumed. I think making commitments to uh, health care as a right is, is, it could be one of the most important legacies of ACT UP. Um, health care is a right. It's not okay to let uh, friends and family or, or even strangers die of a disease that you could treat or that you could invent the treatment for. Um, that principle has not been universally accepted around the world. I, I, you know, in practice, we do not treat healthcare as a right. And yet, I think deep in our hearts, uh, we believe it is. Uh, because we can't stand by and watch people die of something that we know how to treat. David, is an end feasible? I don't think an end is feasible if it requires action on the part of individuals to protect themselves because too many people grow up through adolescence when they believe that they're immortal. And they still smoke. I mean, for all of the years that we have been saying that smoking is, is uh, a death sentence, um, people still smoke. Newly emerging gay men uh, still have sex without protection. So I think we have to see this as a public health problem. We have to find a way to protect people so that they don't have to think about their protection. And then maybe we can actually put the genie back in the box. Mm -hmm.